Hey guys, this is SnapNifer. This is my second episode on t teaching you guys how to motion track 3D objects in Cinema 4D for like COD or stuff like that. So, um, we left off um, creating our first text and adding this Lightroom and adding reflection and all that. But in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to do shadows and how to like make your text create shadows um, but the problem is is that there's nothing for our stuff to cast shadows on so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a plane just click and hold and let go on plane and so what we're gonna do here is um, this thing should pop up you wanna put your plane where you think your shadows are gonna land I think mine's gonna land like on the ground like right here but not that low we're gonna like make it like that high and we, we're gonna make this a bit larger so now just imagine shadows landing on this plane so this is where we're gonna have um, our shadows land on so what you wanna do um, is that if you delete your soar logo plus lightroom because this create a shadow like a really large ugly shadow that we do not want so just delete this you do not want it anymore even though it was a good lightroom and it did create a good lighting but for shadows it does not work out well so now you want to drag your first cinematic material on your plane so now it should be over here and you want to put your projection to frontal now it should look like this and now you want to add a tag oh oh wait I, I have to <laughs> now you want to add your tags cinema 4d tags and compositing you want to um, check compositing background because if you render this it just looks like this it looks all nice it looks like nothing's there but if you uncheck it and you render this you can see the edges of the plane and that kind of looks ugly you don't want that to be there so make sure this is checked and now as you could see um, if we look at this because the planes blocking it if we look at this there's a light coming like back uh, like back of this roof over here so just we're just gonna like add a light to like make it look like that's the sunlight so we're gonna add a light from here we're gonna position it on it on where the light is coming from inside our game so ours is coming from back not over there like back here we're gonna raise it up a little bit like over there maybe so now um, make sure you're on your light you wanna go to shadow right here you wanna put your shadow to shadow map soft and put your density around to 80 because that's like best for um, COD and all that put your color black and transparency on and leave everything the same so now if we look at this there's a shadow on the ground of our um, text but since a shadow over a shadow doesn't really look nice I'm gonna turn this down a little bit see what that looks like now that looks way better so I'm gonna actually drag my light a little downwards because your shadows like really um, point towards the direction of your um, light so as you can see there's a light coming down here and our shadow is basically right here but if we move it like over here something is gonna be like way far back more so if we just go back now if we preview this our, sh our shadow is like over there but I want to try to make it go more in the sunlight so that's more realistic so I drag it down more see what that looks like you're gonna have to play with this a lot like just to like find the right lighting as you can see it's like really bright here I kinda don't want that so I'm just gonna leave it the way it was just for the sake of this video I gotta move quickly 
So as, as you can see, it's like right there. Um, I'm gonna turn the density down a little bit. But remember, um, usually it's on 80, um, just for COD games. But since I'm in a like shadow over a shadow, I have to put it down more. So now if we just scrub along, as you can see, the shadow stays on the ground. As you can see, it's like right there. Um, so that's pretty good, and everything looks nice. So that's it for Cinema 4D. So now you want to make sure everything's the same. I think we did this last episode. Yeah, we did. Alright, so um, now you just want to click the middle one, which is render it completely once you're done. Um, make sure you f file save this in case you messed up somewhere. So just render this and oh, all right. just click OK and just let this render everything and I'll be back with you once it's complete. Alright guys, it's basically done now. You can add color correction if you want on your um, Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. So um, if you're on PC, if you like actually like try to uh, load the thing, like if you actually try to play it, I don't think it should work because it's a quick time. But on Mac, I think it should. I think. But um, yeah, but after you drag it into your timeline on your Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas, it should play perfectly. Um, that's been it for this part. Um, and if you learn something, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and peace out.